Welcome to another week of Anything Live Storytime. My name is Miss Julie. Can you say, hello, Miss Julie? <laughs> hello. Oh, it's wonderful to be back in storytime today. I missed you so much. Let's start with my favorite way to say hello, which is with our Hello Friends song. And we do this song with some American Sign Language. Do you remember the signs? Oh, you do, great. For those of our friends that are new, we're gonna go through each sign together before we sing our song. One way to sign hello is to take our hand, fingers together, we tuck in that thumb a little, like that. And you're gonna bring that up by your eyebrow. Do you know where your eyebrow is? Is it here? No. Is it oh, behind my head? No. Can you show me where our eyebrows are? Oh, that's right, they're up here. They're above our eye. Some of us have different kinds of eyebrows. Mine are black. You might have blonde eyebrows. They usually match our hair color, but sometimes they don't. So bring that hand by our eyebrow and out. Good, that's one way to sign. Hello. The next sign we're going to learn is the sign for friends. And to do that, we take our two pointer fingers and they give each other a hug each way. Friends. Good. Now we're gonna keep our pointer finger out and tap our wrist. This is the sign for time, just like we're on an imaginary watch. And that same pointer finger is gonna come by our chin and down to say, to say, hello. We're gonna do all those signs together in a song. Will you try it with us? Good. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Oh, that was really beautiful singing. This time though, we're gonna do the whole song again, but we're not gonna sing any of the words. We're just going to sign and hum the tune. Let's try it. How'd you do? Good. Uh, I love saying hello. It's the way we start every story time. And we usually end story time the same way too. And sometimes do the same things. You know what that's called? It's called a routine. And we have routines in a lot of the different parts of our day. You might have a bedtime routine where every night you brush your teeth. You might drink a glass of water. You might get tucked in and read a book, sing a song. Did you know we also have a routine in the morning? And sometimes mornings can get a little wild in my house, but we usually do the same things. We wake up in the morning and we're in our pajamas. We, oh, we usually eat breakfast still in our pajamas. And then we get dressed, we brush our teeth, we brush our hair. Miss Julie puts some makeup on her face and then we get ready to go and do whatever we're gonna do. So today, I did all those things and then I'm still here at home doing story time with you. This is my daughter Lila's room. But most days, I'm usually heading out the door and going somewhere. I work at the library or on days when I'm not there, I might be going to the grocery store or the post office. Who knows what my day might bring, but every morning kind of starts the same. You know what? That's what we're gonna do in story time today. So we're gonna start at the very beginning of our mornings, which usually start still in bed. You know what? Let's pretend that we're back asleep in our bed this morning. I'm gonna get all snuggled and tucked in with my llama corn. Do you snore when you sleep? Miss Julie snores a little bit. Let's pretend we're asleep. Ready? To wake up, we're gonna wake up different parts of our body together. And we're gonna start with 
our feet. Ooh. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet, and wiggle, 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 wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up hands, and wiggle, 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 wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up ears, wake up ears, wake up ears, and wiggle, 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 wake up ears, wake up ears, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up armpits, wake up armpits, wake up armpits, and tickle, 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 tickle. Wake up armpits, wake up armpits, wake up and tickle in the morning. <laughs> oh, I feel like I am all awake. I'm gonna get out of bed, say goodbye to my llama corn, and it's time to go to our next thing in our morning routine. Do you remember what Miss Julie does after she wakes up? That's right, I eat breakfast, still in my pajamas. And this morning, I had toast and strawberries and some sausage. And it made me think of one of my favorite storytime rhymes called Toast in the Toaster. So we're gonna pretend that we are toast in a toaster and we're gonna scrunch ourselves up and when it's time to pop up, I wanna see you jump into the air like that. Are you ready? Let's scrunch ourselves up. It goes like this. Toast in the toaster, getting very hot. Tick, tock, tick, tock, up you pop. Whoa, you jumped so very high. Let's try it again. Get down small as you can. We're in our toaster. Toast in the toaster, getting very hot. Tick, tock, tick, tock, up you pop. Whoa, you know what? Let's try it one more time. This time I want you to try and jump as high as you can go. Ready? Ooh. How do we start this rhyme? That's right, we scrunch ourselves up in our toaster. Toast in the toaster, getting very hot. Tick, tock, tick, tock, up you pop! <laughs> Good job, friends. Now that we have had our breakfast, I usually brush my teeth. I might do my hair and my makeup. You probably don't do makeup. You might put on sunscreen or lotion. Yeah, we all do different things to get ready. But usually the next thing is to get out of our pajamas. Have you ever...
my goodness, some technical difficulties. Have you ever had something go wrong? My camera just turned off, but you know what? We're back and running and we are ready for our story today. It's all about getting dressed. It's called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. I'm so excited to read it. This is written by Mo Willems and we're getting to read it courtesy of Hyperion Books. Let's find out about it. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. Oh, there they are. But for this story, you only need to know three things. One, they are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. And three, they are all naked. Well, they were with one exception. Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. Hello. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, ew, yuck, what are you doing? I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy or funny or cool, or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew, yuck. If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But <coughs> Wilbur thought it was a great idea. <coughs> The other naked mole rats did not. It's so sad. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa. <clears throat> he was the oldest, the greatest, and the most naked mole rat ever. <clears throat> Look at that picture they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal, but he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, the other naked mole rat said. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. You're not being very nice to, to Wilbur. And Wilbur just said, why not? Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Hmm. Grandpa was very wise. Hmm. He thought seriously about how he had heard everything Wilbur had done. And then he thought some more. Hmm. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony. I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. A proclamation, oh, but he had no idea what to wear. Should he go fancy or as a superhero or a cowboy? In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe and just put on some blue socks, oh, just like Miss Julie. Oh, maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed, Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question, Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as 
his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Other naked mole rats got dressed up too. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the naked mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. And three, all of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. The end. How I'm back. Thanks for reading that story with me today. Now that we've gotten dressed and out of bed, it's time for us to go. So we're gonna do a funny goodbye today. Can you take both your hands and wave them up high? Can you wave them down low? Story time is over. It's time to go. Can you wave your elbows? Wave your toes? Wave your tongue, uh, wave your nose, wave your knees, wave your lips, blow a kiss with your fingertips, wave your ears, wave your hair, now wave your belly, and derriere, shake, 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 wave your chin, wave your eye, now take both hands and say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for sticking with me through our funny story time today. I'm glad you got ready this morning with me. And we're going to go out with our goodbye friends song, which is just like hello, friends. But the sign for goodbye is tapping our chin and waving. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day.